Yeah. I was like, you're going to pet me? Oh, my really? God. Oh, my. No, <gasps> he ever touches me. Someone's petting me. Oh, oh my God. It's so exciting. Cats have been super annoying this morning. But good morning! Ebony like attacked me in bed. She she came up and she was so talkative. She was meow, 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 meow. Walking all over my back. There she is. Did you hear me talking crap? Ebony! Hey Ebony! She gonna jump up in your lap? No, well, pick her up. Well, Boomer's not happy now. I picked you up, Ebony. Torture and kitties. Torture and kitties. She's like, oh no, let me go. Oh my god. So, what do you have left as far as school goes for this semester? I'm done. You're done? Yeah. You took your final? How'd you do? I don't know yet. I took it yesterday. I didn't know that was your final yesterday. Yeah, I took my final yesterday. Woohoo! And when are you supposed to start again? I don't know. I need to look at a calendar and plan everything out. I think it's August something. Maybe it's a... I don't know. But I have a little bit of a break, and then I have school again. But I know during that break, I have training for work, and then I have, um, and then I have a week of orientation. I was going to make it easy on myself and just, I was just going to do student instruction for uh, calculus um, because I just don't, I didn't want to have like a super crazy schedule and because I've never SI'd, I've SI'd calculus but I'm SI'ing calculus too, which is a lot harder. Um, I got an A in the class when I took it but I I just, SIing it is a lot different because you have to understand it a lot better. So, um, so I was only going to SI Calculus 2, but when I emailed my boss about it, um, she was like, well, I really need you to do physics because you're the only one qualified to do physics. So, so out of the Nor Norco campus, you're the only one qualified to SI physics. That's pretty impressive. We'll see how it goes. I've gotten A's in all the physics classes I've taken, so... You've gotten A's in all the classes you've taken. No, not all of them. I got a B in English. So Megan's cleaning up the kitchen for me. She's such a good kid. I love her. Okay. So, we have been doing this thing on our YouTube channel where we've been asking people what is their favorite scary movie and what is the scary movie that scared them the most okay and we didn't get your view on it um my favorite scary movie is hard i don't know about that one um but my I, I have two that scared me really bad. Which were they? Um, the Exorcist. I thought you never watched I that. I didn't. I've watched about five minutes of it. And it was when I was really, really little. So don't judge me too much, everyone. Actually, was, someone else had said The Exorcist, too. Well, it was when I was really little. So... 
I remember because the reason I wanted to watch it is because there's a part in it where the girl, the original Exorcist, where the girl like does a backbend. Winda Blair. Yeah, and I was, I was really into gymnastics and everything. So when Kevin told me that, I was like, "Ooh, I want to see that part." And so like I watched that part and it totally freaked me out. But I was, I was what like ten or nine something? or ten, yeah. Yeah, I was really young, and so that part freaked me out. So much to where I just don't even want to watch the movie. And I like scary movies sometimes. But I would say the only one that's worse than that one, and it's um, it's the new Halloween movie that Rob Zombie did. And didn't you always say that you didn't like scary movies that had this sense of reality to them? Well, yeah. I mean, well... Kevin, um, when, I, when I first met Kevin and we first started watching scary movies together and everything, he, um, he showed me the movie Darkness Falls, and he was convinced that this was going to terrify me, and it didn't bother me at all. Um, I wasn't scared or anything. This was before... I even watched the Rob Zombie movie. I watched the Rob Zombie movie in like seventh grade. Um, but it didn't bother me in the slightest. And he, he didn't understand why. And I kind of, and what we figured out is the movies that I find scarier are movies that could actually happen. Things that are more realistic and possible. That's what bothers me. So you oh. still don't know which one you would call your favorite? My favorite, um, hang on, let me go look. Why are you hissing at me, cat? That cat <laughs> hisses at everybody. Hmm, there's a lot of them. I like a lot of them. Can't I just like them all? Well, can't you give me your top two? Top two. This, huh? this, this taste takes work. Tastes work? This take work. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> Here comes the Boommeister. He's going to help you. What's your favorite scary movie, Boomer? When he looks in the mirror. <laughs> Aw, he just got to you and you stood up. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be an all-day event. Just <laughs> Freckles, down. Yeah, I need to pick one. I'm looking. I'm a... Okay, I think I've got him. Okay, about time. My arm's getting tired. Yeah. Okay, so I like. I have. I picked out one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Okay. Is that okay? That's okay. What are your six top favorites? 1408. Okay. No pagan. I love that movie. It's so creepy. I don't like scary movies. <laughs> House on Haunted Hill. No pagan. Which what? one? I like the that new one. one. No. Oh, the like new one. one. Okay. What's the older one? It's black and white. Well, that's okay, yeah. that's you know. <laughs> black and white scary movies are scarier. Uh, no, they're not. The Messengers. I really like that movie. Mm -hmm. That one's really cool. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Resident Evil, of course. Zombies and badass bitches. Dollar in the cuss jar. <laughs> Rose Red, which I've seen a million times. It's like a six hour movie, but I love it. It's so good. And 13 Ghosts, the new one. The new one? Yeah. Did the lawyer split? <laughs> That's a, you need to explain the joke. No, no, no. We don't explain the joke because we want to see how many people get the get it the lawyer first. The did split. Okay, but we want to see how many people get it. <laughs> Ready to watch Sharknado? Two. Oh yeah, I just can't wait. I've been waiting for weeks since it's been announced for this night to come. That's right.
That's why I have my goldfish slot machine on my room. Oh, come on. you got to watch it with me. Goldfish. I'll watch and play. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll be quizzing you throughout to make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> come on. I can take horror flicks, but cheesy stuff like that, I'm sorry. I can't handle it. Cheesy is awesome. Oh. I'm going to have to make you watch Plan 9 from Outer Space. You've made me watch that already. Well, we'll have to watch it again. So, you're all ready. I'm ready. I survived Sharknado. Okay. Make sure we have the chainsaw handy. We, we you know. To, so I even recorded it so we could watch it again later. Well, we just got to make sure we have all the tools handy in case one of those sharks come flying out of the TV at us. Okay, dear. Okay? Okay. All right. What happens if I have to get out of bed and go to the bathroom or something and there's a shark under the bed? Um. Do we have a baseball bat? Oh, sure. Baseball bat. Will that protect yeah. me? Sure, dear. That'll protect you. Okay. I'm crazy. You're the one who's going to be looking under the bed for 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 CGI sharks, man. Really? You're the one that loves these crazy, crazy, cheesy flying sharks. Yeah. Oh my god, Kevin, watch out for that flying shark! I am prepared for flying sharks. Where's your where's your chainsaw? My chainsaw is in the garage right now. And, and there's a flying shark in this room right now. What are you gonna do? Uh have sushi. I'm not allowed to have sushi. Well, you asked me what I was going to do. But you don't like sushi. Okay, well, I'll have beer battered steak. Shark steak. <laughs> How's that? But I'm ready. And Val should be ready because the sharks are coming to New York. And they're going to be in New York. I'll just punch him in the nose. That's right. You ought to be there. And you just should be you know, raising... Just a big punch in the nose and take it out. You should have been just there just saying, you know, are you trying to bite me? <laughs> Am I some sort of dinner to amuse you? Let's take it outside. All right. I'm ready for the sharks. Do you think I can kill them with my... Pull a cork out of them or something? Very nice, dear. Hey, hey, Boomer, no chewing. No <laughs> chewing. So it's... Anything that'll work. It's time for shout outs. How's that one? That, that was, was good. I like that, that one. Was really that was different. I... Oh. Bravo! Bravo! Bye! Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm going to do one shout out and then Kevin's going to take the rest over until it's time for Neighborhood Community. Okay, so, Ellis Grant, shout out to you. And yes, Ellis, I believe everybody has a tad bit of OCD in them, in one form or another. You don't have any OCD in you? Nope. No? Nope. That's why you have to have 11 ice cubes, exactly. Eleven ice cubes. It's that's to taste. In his drink. To taste. Eleven ice cubes. He counts them. You have to count them. If you don't count them, how will you know? Isn't that a little bit of OCD there? So I believe everybody in the world has a touch of OCD. It's a matter of how much OCD. I 
I personally am severely OCD. But we're gonna let. Well, I'll, I'll do the. I'll do this first one. Miranda L. Sharks. Yes. <laughs> you should not put any of your body parts in front of my mouth. <laughs> it's not the sharks I should be concerned about. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> you and I have something in common. We both like to bite him. Um, Miranda L. says clowns are scary. Clowns are scary. I, she liked, She didn't, she was scared by It, the Stephen King movie. Lots of people were scared that by had, that movie. Had Pennywise, the clown. And who played it? It was uh, the guy who uh, did the... Uh, oh, what was his um, name? He was, oh. he was in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. He yeah, was, uh, the tip of is right. The name is. Great. I know we'll hear it from you guys. Yeah, later one on of today. you guys will tell us who play, played Pennywise. I know that. So, a uh, great line Vincent Price once said that there's nothing scarier than a clown in the dark. So, hey, hey, have you guys seen uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space? <laughs> no, that's a stupid movie, but it's funny. It has uh, Christopher Titus in it. And a walk oh, I the love road. Christopher Titus. All love right. Christopher Titus. So, one of our Halloween parties was a clown theme, and oh my God, so many people would not come, or they would come around and stay outside. If they had to go to the bathroom, they would go to use a neighbor's bathroom because they were not coming into this house. That's how afraid of clowns they were and we did we downloaded all the circus music onto the ipods and we just had it playing throughout the house over and over and over again it was great i can't wait for our halloween party i'm so excited okay <laughs> one one all right crimson fairy crimson fairy oh she likes all the uh, british horror films which uh the hammer studio stuff uh, very different uh, than uh, American horror films. Christopher Lee probably one of my, is my favorite Dracula. Uh, very good. Uh, Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, all who end up in Star Wars uh, for some reason. Um, what else? Um, Bonnie Hazen mentioned a movie we haven't seen yet called a black and white movie called The Hand. Okay, I'm mean, actually a little. Um, not sure because I've seen several, several movies about hands. Uh, there's there's an old 1946 uh, Peter Lorre uh, horror film called The Beast with Five Fingers. Um, there's a 1963 B movie uh, with uh, Alan Hale Jr. Uh, you know uh, the skipper from uh, Gilligan's Island uh, called The Crawling Hand. And then there's there's actually a British one which I which the the title escapes me because you don't see it very often. Uh, and then there's the Michael King one that came out in '81, but that one's in color, so I'm not sure. Maybe she saw something that I've never seen. Bonnie Hazen, we don't. Which movie was it? Yeah, which movie was it? Before we start this, do you want to go let the dog in since he's scratching frantically at the door? It could be a shark. Oh, that is true. How would I know? That is true. You want to go answer the door? <laughs> All right, carry on. Okay, I will carry on without you. Land shark. It's only Freckles. Hello, Freckles. Okay, so it is time for the... Ever saw, and what is your favorite scary movie? 
Um, when I saw... Oh, God. Anything by talk the, into the camera. Anything babe. by the Olsen twins. <laughs> Time for... Shoutouts! Neighborhood community shoutouts! Oh, I started yesterday. Are you sure? <laughs> Jack Adams! Katie Caroline! Megan Goss! Karen Fry, you're next. McKenna's World! Lucy Bones! Madison Collier! Daniel Scott! Christopher Trade Show! Clay Bad with Usernames! Selena G Love 487, also known as Brian! Tom Show! Madeline Carl! Rex25059! ZZ Epic Dude ZZ! Dana B Saw! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Beauty Queen 12! Marin Brenda Smith! Daphne Sheehan from PEI Canada! What does PEI stand for? I don't know. What does PEI stand for? Lucy and Autumn. And the newest name to the neighborhood community shout out list is Samantha L. But you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We Even would, Pennywise. We would not be here without you. We love you all. Thank you. Thumbs up, and we will see you tomorrow. Sure.